Okay, yay, we are ready for the last assignment for this week. I'm going to navigate into our course and also go to the April 6th folder. And I'm going to scroll down to our last one, number six. This has a folder as well, which means there's multiple things inside this assignment. So let's go ahead and click in there and look at those options. First off, we have uh, our hidden secrets of the dollar bill, and it's an uh, infographic. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what's going to come up. Let's discuss what I want you to look at when you're doing this. An infographic is a form of non-fictional informational writing. This is giving us information about a specific topic, and in this case, it's the dollar bill. Notice they use different types of text structures to give us information that make it just interesting to look at but you get a lot of really densely packed information in this on this specific um, graphic right here of the dollar bill they have um, word blurbs or um, pullouts of different of different information about the, the parts of this dollar bill that's what makes infographics kind of cool so what i want you to do is to go back through and read all the information study up on this topic because you have an additional assignment to do with this. So let me go back and show you what the next part is. This is actually going to be a project that will take you, or you will be given about two weeks to get it done. It may not take you that long, but I do want you to put your effort into this. So it's called Create Your $3 Bill. Go ahead and click on the Hidden Secrets of the Dollar Bill PDF. This is the assignment itself. And it will look like this. Make sure to read all the instructions. Okay, you're gonna read. You should have already read the infographic, and you should have paid attention to the specific um, text features. The second part of this is to brainstorm. You are going to be creating your own three-dollar bill, which is kind of a fun concept, a fun idea. So you've looked at and started studied the dollar bill, but now you get to create the three-dollar bill. So in the brainstorm, I want you to think about some things that you might want to include on your $3 bill. They give you some suggestions. Um, you might think about a landmark that you're really interested in. We studied uh, and did some research on the national parks. Maybe you could use one of those landmarks from that. Or maybe you have a favorite animal that you want to make um, part of your $3 bill. Whatever it is that you want to put on your $3 bill, make sure that it's symbolic of some, some idea or something, and then give a brief explanation. Explain why you want to include it on your $3 bill. You're gonna do that in these, in these five boxes. You can choose three to five features for your dollar bill. My suggestion would be do as many as possible because it makes your dollar bill that much more interesting. Okay, so when you have gone through your brainstorming, <clears throat> will you get to move on to the design portion of that? Use the outline below here to design the entire dollar bill or three dollar bill. Make sure you draw it out using um, detail elements. Don't use stick drawing. Put some effort into it. Even color it. Okay, if you don't want to do the entire dollar bill, you have a second option, and that is to use this section down here. You can draw out the individual elements or the individual features that you decided that you wanted to include in those five boxes. So that would be what you have here in those five, in, sorry, in these five boxes here. You would then draw out in these five boxes here. Okay. Hopefully this is going to make sense for you uh, and might be even a fun project for you to do. I look forward to seeing your submissions. I think they'll be really cool to look at. When you are done, make sure that you save this in some form. You can take a picture of it and then submit it in this section right here. Mine does not show it, but you will have a submission button right here where you can click on it and then upload your finished project. Okay, if you've got any questions, let me know. Drop a question in the question um, section. That would be down here because honestly, this is the quickest and easiest way for you to get a hold of me about questions regarding an assignment.
Awesome, guys. Have a good day.